So are you one of the people that installed Windows 11 back in the days when it still supported non-SSE 4.2 CPUs? And um, let's say you've installed 23H2 and uh, you realize that OS support drops for it November 11th, 2025. Well, I have a solution for you. And in today's video, we're going to extend your free updates for security up until November 10th, 2026. Let's go. Anyway, guys, I'm Greg Rodkane of Rodkane Mods, and in today's video, we will be showing you how to upgrade your Windows 11 home or professional copy of 23H2 to Enterprise IoT 23H2. And um, there is a big difference, and uh, here's some requirements you will need. You will need a non-LTSC key to activate your copy after you update. But once you update, you get updates until November 10th, 2026. And then you'll have to wipe your system uh, if you want to continue getting security updates and downgrade to Windows 10 IoT LTSC. And this video is intended for people with non-SSE 4.2 um, CPUs. Um, this will give you an extra year of Windows 11 use and security updates. And the only thing you need is a non-LTSC IoT key. Now, what's the difference between LTSC and regular IoT, LTSC, and all that stuff? Um, well, needless to say, I said all that wrong, <laughs> but um, we'll play off of that. Um, Regular Enterprise uh, 23H2's support gets dropped at the same time, November 11th at tw uh, 2025. Uh, regular Enterprise is the same as IoT Enterprise, except the key uh, gives you a license that allows you to continue getting security updates until November 10th, 2026. Um, and it's a totally different operating system from the L LTSC versions. LTSC Enterprise came out for 24H2 and will not run on non-SSE 4.2 systems. So what you need is to make sure that you get a key that is for non-LTSC but is IoT um, Enterprise key. A little confusing and you've got to make sure it's for Windows 11. But once you get that key, which Google's your friend there, um, it's very simple. Uh, I got my key really easily. And um, today we'll be using that key plus this image from Internet Archive um, to update my copy of Windows 11 Professional uh, 23H2 to IoT Enterprise so I can continue getting updates uh, until November 10th, 2026. So in today's video, we will be doing that and let's go. Okay, let's go over the requirements one more time. You will need a copy of Windows 11 IoT Enterprise 23H2, which you can get off of Internet Archive. You also need a non-LTSC IoT Enterprise key, which Google's your friend on that. I am not sharing any links in this video due to the last video being banned. Uh, I don't know what caused it to, but this shouldn't be a problem. So um, this is what you're going to need. Plus, you'll need, of course, a copy of Windows 11 uh, that is running 23H2. It can be pro or home. And in today's video, we will show you how to update this thing once I get this image downloaded. All right, so while we wait for this to download, let's go over to Registry Editor and run it as administrator. We will need to go to HK Local Machine Software Microsoft Windows NT current version. And this is the same steps that you would have to go through to uh, update uh, Windows 10 to IoT LTSC. Um, I figured this out on my own, but basically you go over to Enterprise, uh, I mean, inter uh, Edition ID here, and you can either type in IoT Enterprise S or Enterprise S. They'll both work because it all matters by your key. So what we will type in is IOT. You want to make sure it looks just like this right here. IOT Enterprise S with all the same capitalizations. And you hit OK. 
you make sure it's there, and you close out a registry editor. And then, now that it's downloaded, we can close all this stuff out here. And we can open up the ISO by just double clicking on it. You'll get this notification here. Just open it. And now we have a virtual drive mounted. And what we need to do is we open up command prompt in administrator mode. We point the drive to drive F. And then we type in setup forward slash space forward slash product. If I could spell it product server and hit enter. This will bring up the installer and uh, this will bring up the Windows Server installer which doesn't do the checks for the hardware. Uh, change it to not right now on downloads. Hit next. Now here it's going to ask for your enterprise key. Uh, you can use the KMS key, which you can find on Google. I'm going to quick, quickly do that. KMS key will not activate your copy of Windows. So keep that in mind. This is only for installing. There's nothing, no gray area or anything, and it's readily available on Google. So let me look that up real quick. Okay, so I'm not going to show you the key, but you can find this on Microsoft's website. This is all legal. Uh, go down, find Enterprise uh, Key, and uh, just type it into this, and hit Next. Now, if you've done everything right in Registry, you'll see Keep File Settings and Apps. If you don't, make sure you did your registry properly. You hit Next. Okay, once it checks your whole system here, and it says Install Windows 11 Enterprise, and make sure it says Keep File Settings and Apps, just click Install. It will start updating. All right, the update appears to have been successful. Let's see if it really is. Okay, real quick, if you have an activation on here from a KMS activation script, you will need to remove it, Google it. Uh, but now I've got this thing here and it is ready to be activated. As we can see, it's on Windows 11 Enterprise 23H2. And um, if we go over to activation, we can now type in our product key here. I'll type that in real quick. All right, and then you click activate. Sometimes it will give you this error. You hit troubleshoot, it should automatically activate it. Hit close. And we have a fully activated copy of Windows 11 IoT Enterprise. We go back to System. And go back to About. We can verify we have Windows 11 IoT Enterprise, which means that we've got a copy of 23H2 that will get updates until November 10th, 2026. And that's how you do it. Let's wrap up the video. So yeah, guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope this video helped you out. If you happen to be one of those unfortunate souls that have a uh, non-SSE 4.2 CPU and you want to keep your Windows 11 installed for another year, um, there is one thing. If you end up getting one of these keys, some sellers for some reason will send you a LTSC key and a regular key. Um, make sure you're using the regular key. Um, I don't know why this particular seller does it. I kept typing in the wrong key. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got this key for seven bucks. And for seven bucks, I can continue updating my Windows 11 security updates for free for another year, which is awesome. So um, yeah, if you're following this tutorial after November 10th, 2026, it's not going to help you. But if you're doing it before, this definitely will help you. You'll continue getting security updates. Your system will be fine. The only thing it really does is it changes the Windows key. It's still the same install of Windows that you had before. 
unless you're running home originally, then you've got all the features of professional also in it. But otherwise, it's the same OS install. And uh, it just allows you to have an extra year of updates until November 10th, 2026, which is pretty awesome. So I hope this video helped you guys out. And that's the end of today's video. Don't forget, guys, I do have a Patreon and memberships. Uh, links are all available. You know where to go for those. I've got Buy Me a Coffee and all that stuff. And yeah, that's the end of today's video. This has been a Mods video.